time again for Tennessee, Tuxedo and his tail. more fish, Tennessee? Fish. Fish. All we ever get around here is fish. Well, I'm sick of it. I want fresh vegetables. Corn, peas, beans, lettuce, spinach. I'm through. Throw that stuff away, Chumley. Uh, but Tennessee... No buts, Chumley. The food here is ridiculous. We're going to complain to Stanley about this now. Now throw it away. <laughs> Chumley... Yes, Mr. Mayor, yes, yes. Your wife is on her way here now? To inspect the zoo? Good heavens! You... Oh, uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for the warning. Uh, I'd better go right out and... Stanley? Stanley? Where are you, Stanley? Oh, there you are. We have a complaint. No, oh, you do, do you? Well, yes, Stanley, the food here is terrible. We want fresh vegetables, and all we ever get is fish. You finish. You're supposed to have fish. You're a penguin, remember? And penguins eat fish. But I want fresh vegetables. All we have to do is make our own garden and... No, 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 no garden. Besides, I have no time to talk. The mayor's wife is on her way over to inspect the zoo, and she's very particular, and I don't want anything to go wrong. She's a real battle act. Yeah. Oh, uh, Mrs. Mayor, come right in, come in. Mr. Livingston, I have heard that conditions in this zoo are terrible, and I came to see for myself. Why, Mrs. Mayor, conditions in this zoo are... Terrible. The food is awful. No garden fresh vegetables. No corn or peas Tennessee. or spinach or anything uh, like Pay that. no attention to him, Mrs. Mayor. He just talks a lot. Come with me and see for yourself. We'll start with the beavers. Chumley, we've got Stanley right where we want him. <laughs> when I get through with him, he'll do just what I want him to do. We'll get that garden. Come on. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Handsome. Hey, Tennessee, what's the big idea? Just this. We've got a way to get Stanley in our power. Now, here's... Here's the beaver house. Notice what healthy, well-fed beavers we have. Food, food, food. A few scraps or a stale bread. Anything. Well, I never... What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Conditions here are terrible. You Tennessee tuxedo... Yeah, I know him, Mrs. Mayor. It's one of his pesky tricks. I assure you, everyone in the zoo gets the best of care. The best. What about the elephant? The elephant? The elephant? I assure you, Mrs. Mayor, our elephant gets the best of care. The best. Better see for yourself. <laughs> What's the big idea? Uh, I'm sorry, Peanuts, but Tennessee has a big plan. Right. We're going to make Stanley do anything we want him to do. Now, here's... Yeah, here's our elephant. As you can see, he's a healthy, yeah, happy, contented elephant. Water. Water. Just a drop. Well, I never... Disgrace. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What you told me is perfectly true. From now on, I'm going to take your word for everything. And if anything goes wrong, I want you to call me, and I'll see that we get a new keeper for the zoo. Certainly, Mrs. Mayor, I'll take care of everything. Everything. You Tennessee tuxedo, I'm going to... Ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 Stanley, I'll call Mrs. Mayor. No! Now we're going to have some changes around here. Ice cream three times a day. Uh, chocolate cake? 
Right. And soda with every meal. Uh, lots of candy. But most important, lots of nice fresh vegetables from our own garden. No, never. No gardens, I refuse. Ah, uh, uh, Stanley, I'll have to call the mayor's wife. No, 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 not that. But I don't know anything about gardening. Neither do I, but I know where to find out. And while we're gone, sweep up around here. Won't you, Stanley? Tell me, Mr. Whoopi. Yes? Why are fish well-educated? Why, naturally, because they travel in schools. <laughs> so you see, Mr. Whoopi, we'd like to learn about growing vegetables. Well, got a touch of the old green thumb, eh? <laughs> yes. Well, now, I'm sure we can cover the ground on that. Get it? Ground? Oh, yes, I always like to inject a little humor. Well, let's see what the three-dimensional blackboard has to say about that. The first thing to do in planting anything is to prepare the ground. This is done by breaking up the soil with a tool called a plow. Early man used a forked stick, which he scraped along the ground. Then he developed a hole and a spade and even a man-powered plow. Later, he used horses or oxen to pull his plow. But now, of course, we use tractors. Uh, but gee, Tennessee, we haven't got any tractor. No, Chumley, but we can hook up Stanley. <laughs> hook up Stanley, that's pretty good. Hmm, yes, well, the plow blade cuts into the earth and turns it over to one side. The groove that it cuts is called a furrow. Cutting furrows breaks up the hard soil and lets the sun and air get in. But the plow breaks the earth into fairly large lumps. So the farmer now uses a tool called a harrow, which is dragged over the plowed field to crumble up the large lumps and level the surface to make it ready for planting. Get it? Remember that, Chumley? First plow, then harrow. Right. It used to be that men walked through the fields with big sacks and cast the seed over the ground. That's where we get the word broadcasting. But the modern farmer uses a machine called a drill, which places the seed evenly in the ground exactly as deep as the farmer wants it, and then covers it over with earth. Great. And that's all there is to it. Oh, 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 no, 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 my boy. The farmer's work is never really done. For instance, once the seeds begin to come up, the garden has to be cultivated with a hoe or a mechanical cultivator. That means removing the weeds from around the plant and loosening the soil so that it will hold more water. And so that the roots can grow more freely and get more air. Then, if there's plenty of water and sunshine and air, the plants will grow and whoopee, you'll have a gun! Phineas J. Whoopee, you're the greatest. Thanks a million. Come on, Chumley. <laughs> This is the life, Chumley. Stanley's so afraid I'll get him in trouble with the mayor's wife, he'll do anything I say. Oh, Stanley, now that you've finished the plowing, run on up and get us some ice cream. It's very hot. Tennessee, one of these days. Ah, uh, 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 Stanley, I'll have to call the mayor's wife and tell her. No, no, don't do that. Oh, one of these days, the mayor's wife will go on a trip or something, and Tennessee won't be able to call her. <laughs> and then, then... Yeah, hello. Oh, Mr. Mayor. What? Your wife has gone on a trip around the world and won't be back for a year? Oh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. All right, Stanley, where's our ice cream? There isn't going to be any ice cream. Stanley, I gave you an order. Stanley. Stanley, I'll phone the mayor's wife. I'll phone. All right, Stanley. I'd like to speak with Mrs. Mayor. What? She's gone around the world. She won't be back for a year. Uh, uh. Now, wait, Stanley. Now, now, now just wait a minute, Stanley. Yeah, so, you wanted fresh vegetables, did you? <laughs> you wanted a garden, did you? <laughs> oh! 
Tennessee and Chumley will be right back with more cartoon fun.